Hey everybody, what's going on? Giggs here with some Diablo Immortal. I wanted to make a video talking about how I'm going to acquire legendary items as a 100% free to play character. I have started a character on another server so that he won't even have the battle pass and we're not going to spend a penny and we're going to see how far we can get in this game, right? I want to put this pay to win um, narrative to the test. So it'll take me a little bit. <laughs> I've got a lot of other things to do, but I'm going to grind this character the best that I can. And we're going to push as far into the game and see at what point we start to feel limited by the fact that we're not spending money. So if you're interested in that, interested in that, want to follow along on card to the first episode of it in the top left up there. Um, but other, otherwise, let's go ahead and get into how we're going to get legendary items as a free-to-play character. The first thing that we're going to do is just play the game. We're going to progress the story, and we're going to make sure that we're doing our bounties over here on this bounty board. We're going to make sure that we stay stocked up on our bounties and let them guide us around even after we do the story. And that's going to keep us... It's going to do a few things. It's going to keep us out in the world farming and give us opportunities for legendary drops. You'll occasionally come across stronger enemies, right? They'll have the blue skull, and then there's the purple skull and the yellow skull, and then sometimes you'll see the orange skull on your map. Those enemies are very, very likely to drop legendary items. So that's one way to do it, and you'll see more of those the more that you're out in the world, and these bounties are going to keep you out there a little bit more often, right? They're going to take you to places maybe you wouldn't ordinarily be going. You're just more likely to see them the more that you're out there. So this is one way to do it. Another way, while we're right over here, is the bestiary. This is, again, going to come from just playing the game, just farming the game. As we get further in <clears throat> and we complete more of this, the drops start to get better, and you can eventually start to get legendary drops from this. So you'll get this by completing the essences that enemies will drop occasionally from just playing the game. Out in the world, killing enemies, doing your bounties, doing your, your story, just being out there grinding, right? So that's two ways right here in this little part of town that we're going to utilize to accumulate some legendary items over time. All right, another way that we're going to get legendary items as a free-to-play player is in the Battle Pass. Now, don't freak out. <laughs> we're not buying the Battle Pass, but there is a free Battle Pass for you to progress through without spending a dime, and that's this top row here. So if we scroll through real quick, you'll see at level 10, you're going to get a legendary item. Now, I think this varies from class to class. I'm a barbarian, so I'll be getting a legendary offhand item. You'll be getting something specific to your class or just a, a piece of uh, gear, I, I imagine. But in my case, it's going to be a legendary offhand. If we go a little bit further, these aren't quite what we're talking about in this video, but we do get a legendary gem here at level 15. We get a legendary crest here, which makes us much more likely to get a legendary gem and an elder rift. And then at the very end of the battle pass here, we get a two-star gem. So. It'll take a little bit, right? We do have to grind, we do have to push through it, but this is a good way for us to do it as a free-to-play player, so we're, we're going to push through this the absolute best that we can. Another way we're going to get legendary items is if you come up to the rift, the Elder Rift entrance, right here you'll have your challenge rift. Don't not do these. Don't not... Don't stop letting people not help. <laughs> don't don't sleep on these, okay? I have not really started this yet. I'm only on level two. I just did the one because the mission made me do it, and we'll come back and definitely knock these out. But if you click the chest here, you can't do it here, up here, but if you click the chest, you can go and see all the rewards. And if you notice, every fifth stage has a chance to drop legendary equipment. So level five, level 10, level 15. So make sure that you're you're pushing yourself through these as you play the game because you've got pretty good chances to get legendary gear from here as well. And again, it just goes up. It, it, it seems to be every fifth stage. I don't know if that ever, if that, that pattern doesn't ever seem to change. So uh, that's another way we're going to be getting legendary items. Yet another way we're going to be getting legendary items in the game is if you go up in here and you go into Warband, uh, and we click this, you get to see some of the perks that you get for being in a warband. You get to see what all it does for you. There's quite a bit going on uh, with the warband. Down here, the storage box. Members have a chance to receive sealed warband chests while in a party together. The warband steward can identify the contents of warband chests, blah, blah, blah. Each warband member can borrow one item from the warband stash. These can be legendary items. They can be set items. They can be other things. There's a, there's a stash that you and the warband share, and if you want to use an item that's in there, you can use it. It's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool little system. I think it's pretty handy. And actually, what I'm going to do is gonna I'm going to make my warband right here in this video because sauce... <laughs> and then, yes, absolutely sauce. Uh, if you want to get in this warband, hit me up. 
uh, we've got we've got some spots here. As soon as I'm able to, I'm going to be creating a clan on this account as well, and I'm going to be looking to fill that up. So if you want to get involved, I think the best thing to do would probably be join the Discord. There's going to be a link in my description to my Discord. There's, there's a whole Diablo Immortal section that I'm going to grow more uh, over time add more channels and things to it but that's going to be the best place to be so that i can notify you guys when the clan gets go, uh, going if you want to get in the warband all those things so um if you want to apply to the warband go for it well uh we'll get that sorted and then when i get the clan sorted we'll get you in but that's going to be another way for us to accumulate some items as a free-to-play player is playing with the warband and, and growing that stash of items all right, another really good way to get legendary items, it's basically guaranteed, is the Hilts Trader. You, you'll, you'll get Hilts as you play the game. A lot of them tend to come from this Conquest tab. Every time something in here happens, you end up with Hilts. I don't remember if there's other ways to get them, honestly. I just know that they piled up real heavily on me before I ever even thought about using them. And then I made my way over here and was like, oh, holy crap. <laughs> so uh, I had to switch over to my Sorceress for this because my Barbarian hasn't unlocked the option to have this yet. I don't know at what level it happens. Same with the next thing we're going to talk about on how to get legendary items. He's not high enough level yet to access it. But this mysterious... Uh, I keep wanting to say mysterious. Mystery legendary item for uh, 1600 hilts. You can do this every week. And you can see I've got 12,000 hilts. And I actually already spent some. I bounced around and spent. I think I bought everything in the limited tab the first time I came in here. And then I bought the legendary crest, and then I bought a couple of other things, and I'm still I'm, I'm still sitting on twelve thousand. So they piled up real quick. So they're not super hard to come by. I think sixteen hundred a week is incredibly uh, doable, and you can get a legendary item this way. So as soon as we unlock this on my barbarian, we'll start doing it again. I don't know what level that happens at, unfortunately, but when when it becomes possible, we'll do it. So why don't we go ahead and snag a legendary item right here, and just see what it is real quick. Honor Might have been a dude. Let's uh, let's go to the identifier real quick. I figure this might be fun to do. I'm I'm, I'm wearing that, dude. I'm wearing that right now. Uh, maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be an upgraded version of it. Let's go check it out together. And I mean, hurry up and get there, you know. Hurry up and get there. <laughs> also, I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, no, no, you. It's a wizard. It's not a sorceress. No She's a sorceress to me, you know? To be upset All right, yeah, friend. I think that's what I'm already wearing, but mine is better, it looks like. So, there you go. GG. The last way I want to talk about to obtain legendary items is, again, something I haven't unlocked on my Barbarian yet, so we're staying over here. Uh, at level 35, this unlocks, I believe. So, is but it's gambling basically. Although you take your gold and you can come in here to the shop and you can gamble it. I don't know how much we'll be doing this. But it's here, and I wanted to point out that it was here. If you find yourself sitting on a ridiculous amount of gold, and you wanted to see if anything interesting would happen for you, then uh, you could come over here and try to do it. So, you know what, just for the sake of the video, again, we'll do 10. I think the price goes up after 10. Yeah, the price went up after 10. And it'll only let you do it 25 times a day. And I don't I don't know the rates. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know the rates, but I do know that you can get legendaries from there. So, um, you know, shout out to my D2 players who used to spend a lot of time at Geed. Um, <laughs> this is basically what that is. So um, if, if it ends up being a bunch of junk, at least you can turn it over to the blacksmith for materials for upgrading your gear. You know what I mean? So it's not a total wash. I, again, I don't, I don't know that I would recommend this method. I don't know how efficient it is, but I just wanted to point it out because it is possible. So, uh, that's it. That's all of the ways that I'm currently aware of. I believe to get legendary items in the game. Um, if you know of any I didn't touch on here and want to throw them in the comments, that would be dope. But. Uh, I think that there's a lot of ways to do it. I, I, I don't think we're going to be hurting for legendary items as a free-to-play player. And uh, I, don't, I don't reckon we're going to be hurting too bad for gems either. We'll see how it goes. But uh, we'll talk about gems in another video. But I just wanted to share this with you guys, let you guys kind of see that there's a lot of ways to get legendary items. It's not going to be that bad. And I reckon it won't be too long before my Barbarium is fully decked out in legendary gear. So we'll see how long that takes as a, as a totally free-to-play player. Um, and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Again, if you want to follow along with the series, uh, I'll be uploading to it fairly regularly, so um, subscribing would be pretty pretty good there if you wanted to see it. But uh, either way, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you later.